Welcome back to Real Talk Sports. As always, I'm your host, Valencia King, and thanks so much for joining us on this edition as we talk about the Dallas Mavericks as they are wrapping up their NBA season. Now, the Mavs will not be going into the playoffs this year, but their opponent tonight is looking for one of those last spots in the Western Conference playoffs. Tonight, our opponent was the Minnesota Timberwolves, who now stand at 44 and 33 for the NBA season with the win over the Mavs tonight. Their head coach, Tom Thibodeau, kind of touched on what their mentality is like as they look to head into the playoffs. We've been in a fight really since the All-Star break, you know, with Jimmy out and then, uh, you know, Derek came in, gave us a good lift and then he goes out and, uh, you know, just scratching out wins is it's critical, particularly in the West. Uh, everyone's tough in the West. And so, uh, you know, and hopefully we get these guys back, but until we get them back, we got to find ways to win and sometimes it's going to be like tonight. The game-winning shot was not a buzzer beater, but it was made by veteran Jamal Crawford, who has 18 years in the NBA league. Now, he was well defended by Yogi Ferrell, and you'll hear Greg Nowinski talk about that last play momentarily. But right now, let's go ahead and talk to Jamal, the veteran himself, who sealed the game. <laughs> Jimmy's literally standing right here supporting him in this moment. Just talk about the support that comes off the court and how it reflects on the court. Yeah, it, it's, it's unbelievable. I think uh, it shows on the court because this guy here, uh, you know, started a culture. And we all have tried to do our part as well. And, and Taj and Teague and Wiggs and you know all our guys are trying to you know just do our part. But he started the coaching. And we're trying to. Timmy gets on my nerves all the time. <laughs> are you still translating? Yeah, I'm translating. All right. You got 18 years in the league. How do you keep the love for basketball still fresh? I just I've loved it ever since I was a kid. Ever since I was uh, two years old when I had the ball. You know, it's always been me and me and my ball. And my dad put in my hands early, and my mom got me my first hoop. So. That love, I think, is what always keeps me coming back. You sure there were a lot of things that have gotten you to this point today, but for the younger players that are looking up to you, what's one element you would tell them that got you here today? Stay in love with the game. Yeah. I think, especially now, you can get sidetracked so easy. There's so many different things out there, but if you stay true to the game, I think the game will stay true to you. As you saw in the interview with Jamal Crawford, his teammate Jimmy Butler was literally standing right next to him giving him some post-game interview support. Another player who got some support for his teammate is Carl Anthony Towns. He said that when Jamal is on the court, he can just get the popcorn and watch the show. Oh, no, no. I just, you know, I ask, you know, the people in the front row to borrow their popcorn and I enjoy the show. And that's all I do. So um, he, he was fantastic. He was amazing. And uh, we did a great job of... Um, just winning this as a team, you know, and uh, finding a way to win. I mean, it's huge. He's been, um, he's had a, a, a career that's different than all of ours, you know, having so many coaches, so many play styles, adjusting, um, you know, being who he is, you know, it, it, it's very, it's very beneficial to have him here. And uh, we count our stars every day. We get to uh, see Crawford on the back of a Wolves jersey, and, um, you know, he's a tremendous asset to our team. The support in the locker room did not stop there as we got a chance to hear from Andrew Wiggins, who feels that the support off the court shows up once they get on the court. It was good. You know, he came out, was hooping, you know, and he said it's in the end. You know, things weren't going our way really, but he was playing good the whole game, knocking down big shot to big shot to big shot. You can kind of see the support. Jimmy was literally standing with Jamal during his interview that you guys have for each other off the court and how it reflects on the court. How important is that as you guys try to head into the postseason? Uh, it's good because, you know, we trust each other. You know, we all want the best for each other, you know, and support. And, you know, everything positivity uh, comes a long way, you know, for your teammates. So hopefully we can keep it going. And I see you've got some headphones in there. My show is Real Talk, so I always ask a fun question. What's on your pregame playlist that is getting you ready for the games these days? I just got a bunch of style speed. Yeah. Tonight's Real Talk Sports one-on-one -on -one was with NBA veteran who has nine years in the league, Taj Gibson. I got a chance to ask him about his journey in the NBA, his support for his community, as well as what got him to being an NBA vet. I'm Can sorry. you just talk about if your love and appreciation for the game has changed up until your rookie season up until now? You've got nine years in the league. Uh, it's just, I'm just having fun, you know, just having fun with the young guys, having fun just being in the position. Uh, you've seen guys drop like flies for injuries and different things, so I'm just real appreciative and just having fun. Every day I'm in here with Kat and these guys that make it fun for me, so I'm just enjoying it. We're still in the midst of March Madness. If there's one element that the college players could say got you to this point, what would you share of advice with them? Uh, just be humble, continue to uh, enjoy the journey, play hard, and uh, whatever happens, just stay positive because everybody's journey is different. Uh, whatever road takes you, just keep following your road, following your path. Uh, if it's hard, if it's easy, just keep going strong and just keep, have, keep having strong faith and keep playing. And I 
And I know throughout your NBA journey, no matter the team, you've always taken the time to get connected with the community. Why is that so important to you? Because uh, whatever you're at, there's always going to be some young kid out there that was that was basically in your position as uh, growing up. So uh, you can just change the system, change the, the, the dynamic by giving, going out there and just uh, meeting the families, meeting the kids. Because you never know one day uh, somebody's going to count. Some, you, can, you can improve somebody else's life. You got to just that's one thing as a black, black community. We got to keep encouraging each other and keep um, doing more than, more than what we can. Now let's head over to the Dallas Mavericks side. You'll hear from Coach Carlisle and go around the locker room with the Dallas Mavs with our one and only Mrs. Shirley Walker King. Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk Sports. I am your co-host Shirley Walker King and in this segment of the Coach's Corner we're going to talk about what Rick Carlisle had to say about the way Dennis Smith Jr. and Harrison Barnes played together. One of the things Coach Carlisle was impressed with is how Harrison Barnes was able to play the three spot for the three quarters that he did play which is very helpful because it allows the point guard to be a true point guard. You know, he and Barnes, um, on, their, on one of their actions, you know, caused some, caused some problems tonight. And, you know, I'm, I'm liking where that chemistry is going. Um, and look, I think, I think tonight may be the first game since he's been here uh, that Barnes played three the entire time he played tonight. And I don't think it's ever happened any other times. And that's why... You know, that's why McDermott's minutes, you know, were, were a little lower, uh, et cetera. But I think this is a period where, you know, we got to look at this, and Harrison's got to get a, get a real taste of it. Um, you know, you see him on the perimeter. You see him moving around in more pick and rolls, making in more playmaking opportunities. Um, and this is a real good opportunity for him right now. Coach Carlisle mentioned that uh, he liked how he, he saw you and Harrison playing together tonight. Do you feel like you finally kind of got a grip on, on what the team, what the plays, and who likes to get the ball where? Right, right. I know the plays. You know, H is a really good player. We got a lot of really good players, but H has been balling. So I'm trying to find him as much as possible, keep him involved. Uh, I feel like the more I learn to play with H, you know, that'll be better for, for the future. So we're trying to build that chemistry as soon as possible. Being that the Mavericks played the Cleveland Cavaliers next, the hot topic in the locker room was, what do you have to do to stop LeBron James? Well, Noel tried to answer that. You know, he's LeBron James, you know. You know one of the best ever do it, so, you know, the guys that did stuff, you know, experience from playing against him, you know, knowing we're going to have to you know, play against his IQ and playing, you know, as opposed to, you know, when he you know, stop it's tough to stop him, so you know, we're going to have to you know, go to the wall at the rim and um, be able to get out to the shooters because you know, he's going to be as well as anybody in the league. So, you know, we're going to have to do that stop Even Dirk was impressed with how veteran Jamal Crawford won this game. You've got 20 years in the league, 18 for Jamal Crawford. On that last play, I know you guys want the win and we're far from moral victories, but on that last play when Yogi's defending him, do you just kind of chop it up to that veteran experience? Yeah, he's a, I mean, he's a tough little player. He can, if he gets to his spots, he can still elevate, elevate with the best of them and, uh, and shoot right over Yogi, obviously. And uh, Tough shot, though. Good D by, by Yogi. Made him shoot a kind of step back sideways, fall away. But, you know, at that point, he already had it going. You know, he got going there really in the third. Uh, had a couple pull-ups off some pick and rolls. And once a player like that has, has it going, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to stop him. And this segment of the Coach's Corner was brought to you by the Garland Journal. Thank you, Dorothy, for the article. As always, thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of Real Talk Sports. I'm your host, Valencia King. Make sure to follow me on all social media sites. Yes, all of them. At I am Valencia King. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Valencia King TV. And be sure to follow Slam Films. And I will see you next time.